In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about AmScout and basically all of the tools they offer in one video. So I have put together another video on their Chrome extension, going through that in a bit more detail. So this video is going to touch on the Chrome extension, but mainly focus on all the other tools that they offer. So we're going to be looking at how you can find really interesting product ideas and do everything you need to do as a beginner Amazon seller from A to Z when looking and qualifying product ideas. So if you are new here and you're interested in this sort of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you find this video useful, please smash the like button. And if you've got any questions, make sure you drop me a comment and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. So we're going to start with the Chrome extension. Okay, so AmScout have a Chrome extension. It's called AmScout Pro. Now, you can get some free uses out of it. I'll leave a link in the description below where you could sign up and, and get some free uses. But to actually use it uh, all the time, you're going to need to pay for it. It's a part of their software suite. They've got a web app, which is referred to as the AmScout web app, and of course, this Chrome extension. So it's a very cool Chrome extension. I'm not going to go through all of it now. If you want to understand exactly what this Chrome extension is all about, watch the video you can see at the top. And... Yeah, but I'm going to be talking to you about everything else and just a brief overview of what, what the actual Chrome extension looks like. So this is it. And I'm sure you'll agree it looks very aesthetically pleasing. There's loads of interesting functions and functionality. Now, I think the best way for me to show this is we're actually on a specific product at the moment. But if we go on Bamboo Coffee Pod Holder, and this Chrome extension comes into its own when you're searching for your actual product idea. Okay, so if you're on a specific product page, it can tell you loads of interesting information. But what I most like about it is, well, it's actually the niche score area of this Chrome extension. So it tells you what is good and what isn't so good about the niche. And I think that can help you make pretty quick decisions on whether something's worth investigating any further. So this is what I'm talking about, the niche score. So Let's say our idea was the bamboo coffee pod holders. If we click on the niche score, we are very quickly told what's good and bad about this particular market. And this is a very, very powerful tool to speed up your product research and actually qualifying product ideas. Okay, very, very important that you use something because if you're not, you're competing with Amazon sellers like me and like other people that do use paid software. And you're just going to be at an advantage if you use something like this. So this is pretty interesting. They're telling us straight away that this is quite an unsaturated niche. There's very few Amazon sellers, which is either Amazon or vendors, and very low quality listings. So that's an easy win for us. We can put together great listings. Very few reviews. So this is cool. A monopolistic niche. So this just means it's being dominated by well, one. Or But here they're saying uh, you'll compete with a few strong sellers. So a 7 out of 10 isn't the best, but it gives you quick information that you might not have otherwise seen, okay? And this can help you uh, make your decisions. So we won't go into too much detail on it. They give you the, the revenue, the reviews. The other thing I really like is the LQS, which is the listing quality score. Just indicates how good a listing is, basically. So the higher this is, the better the listing is. And if you've got any products that are doing quite well with maybe quite a low number, then straight away, you know there's an opportunity for you to come in and offer maybe even the same product, but with a better listing. OK, so another cool thing is if you've got a niche idea, what happens every time I do that is they take me to a random, interesting product idea. The only downside I can see with using their niche ideas is the visibility score. So the higher this is, the more of their users have seen this particular idea. So it might quickly become saturated if other people are finding it. But this looks like a pretty interesting niche. This seller here with only 63 reviews is doing nearly 20 grand a month. So. That's enough about the Chrome extension. I'm sure you can see that's pretty interesting, um, even that feature alone. Let's talk about the web app because we're going to go through each of the different parts just so you know what you would be getting. And we'll start with this. So if you're used to using Helium 10, this product database is very similar to Blackbox. Okay. I've used Blackbox a lot. Today, I'm obviously using the product database just to, to see how, how it is really. So categories are all pretty straightforward. If you want to dive down into a particular keyword, enter that here. Price, we're going to go between 25 and 45. Reviews, we want at least 20. I know we're putting random numbers and maybe as high as 280 because we want enough reviews to give us some data. If we're just looking at products that have no reviews that are doing very well, 
Maybe they've got external traffic. Maybe they're up to something. Who knows? Let's have a look at seller type. So we're probably just looking to compete against FBA. If you're a private label Amazon seller like me in the FBA game, you can do all sorts. You can sort by product tier. Uh, you can go up to maybe you're only looking up to products that are a certain weight. You can really dive down here. Estimated revenue. So for me, I'm interested in products between 5,000. And actually, as a beginner, I don't really want to go much higher than 30,000 because it's going to be quite competitive. Okay. Rating. I like to sell good products. So a minimum of 4.5 and number of sellers, first available, listing quality. So again, we could say that we only want to see results that are under a certain listing quality because straight away we've got an advantage. We can come in and compete just by offering a good listing. But let's go 80 and find products. And it gets to work pretty quickly. They're going to be returning us results that fit these filters. And yeah, you should be having a load of interesting product ideas come through. So what have we got here? So straight away at the top, we've got, it looks like some sort of shower and bath mat combo. I actually think this is probably quite an interesting idea. They've only got 78 reviews. They're doing 26,000 a month. They are new. So let's have a look when it was first available. No. So the date when it first became available on Amazon was actually 2020 last year. So a few months. Um, this could be interesting. But from this point, you're just sourcing through. And what you'll find is if you're not interested in a particular category, like me, for example, I don't want to see anything from the clothes category. So if I'd have gone select all and removed clothing, maybe any other ones that you don't like, video games, anything else you don't like, digital music, electronics, books, collectibles and fine art, and just apply those filters. Again, we're going to be showing products that fit our criteria. So you can play around with this. This is a pretty cool feature. And yeah, you're going to find some pretty interesting product ideas. We've got another one here, which is an indoor vegetable garden set. Pretty cool. Very niche. Uh, and from this point, you know, you could click on the listing, dive in a little bit further, see what else there is going on with this product and how easy it would be for you to replicate. OK, is it something worth investigating? Maybe. Uh, but that's up to you. So that is the product database. Now, the product tracker is what you would do is if you find a potential product, you would add it in here and it will just allow you to see if really that is a good product for you to keep an eye on. So before jumping in, I find it's best to track products because things can change in the market. You might have found a very, very popular low competition product that in a couple of weeks time has just nosedived because it was just a phase. So I tracked these two because just for examples, really, um, this was actually coming up as I think this is like a heat proof glove. And it looks like a really interesting product, but it was weird because it was making loads of sales and didn't really have many reviews. So I thought I'd track it. So this listing might have been taken down or something. But anyway, you can see what I'm getting at. This is the product tracker that you would get access to. And the let's move on to the keyword search. Okay, so going back to the bamboo coffee pod idea, all I did was enter my main keyword phrase, which would be coffee pod holder. And they're going to give us other keywords that we should be thinking about. So this could help us find other related keywords to put in our listing. So if we were selling a bamboo coffee pod holder, any sort of coffee pod holder, these are good keywords that we can look at. And what I like about this is they've made it quite simple. They're giving you the estimated monthly search volume. So that's good. Over a thousand people a month are searching wooden coffee pod holder. But they're saying here, the number of sales your product needs to have over an eight day period to be in the top 10. So on page one is 33. So Helium 10 use a Cerebro product rank. Okay, they've got an algorithm there that determines what you need for a keyword to get on page one. They go a little bit further, in my opinion. But what I like about Amscap is that they keep things simple. And this is all you need to know. Sometimes I find if there's too much data, I can become overwhelmed and end up not doing anything. This is the Amazon keyword search, so where you can find great keywords for your listing. You can also use this to find other product ideas. So enter in the broad keyword and go down. What else have we got? Is there anything here? Well, wood coffee pod holder, a wall mounted coffee pod holder. So that's slightly different. We were looking at the bamboo wooden ones. Maybe there's a niche for wall mounted ones. Well, there, there certainly is because we're being told over 500 people search this keyword. So if you wanted to investigate that, you could. And you can click it and it will take you through the product database. 
you can even set your filters again. We won't go into that now, but pretty interesting. Now, reverse ASIN lookup. So what I've done is I've taken the, let's go back to it, bamboo coffee pod holder. So I went back to the example we found this one, took the ASIN. So if you want a product ASIN, you're going to have to, well, actually we could have taken it there, but you go down on the listing, you'll find under product information, the ASIN's here. So I just copied that and pasted it into reverse ASIN lookup. Now, what you use this for, and compared to Helium 10, this is the uh, Cerebro tool they have. This, if you put in the ASIN, will tell you how this listing is pulling in its traffic. So how is it being found? And this is golden because this is everything we need to know. We need to know this to optimize a listing. We need to know how a competitor is being found because you find a good product opportunity, all we're doing is reverse engineering what they're doing with our product offering and we're trying to improve it in some way. And it's a very easy way to make great sales and build a brilliant Amazon business. So this particular item is, I'm not surprised they're doing quite well, Coffee Pod Storage, which you, they're estimating has over 25,000 searches a month. They're ranking organically. So they're on page one. Okay, so they're not at number one. If they were, they'd probably be doing a lot more, but they're ranked position 31. So they're not doing too badly, doing slightly better for K cup holders for counter position 18. Uh, but where they are doing very, very well is bamboo K cup holder, 21,000 searches a month. They're position two. So you can use this to see where they're getting the majority of their traffic from. You could sort it to find all of the keywords they're ranking number one for. And then you can set your own strategy for your product. Make sure you're including those keywords, et cetera, et cetera. So a reverse ASIN lookup is an essential tool. Whichever software you decide to use, you really do need that to build out proper listings and to find the actual keywords that are working. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. We're just trying to find a strategy and find a way of building some momentum on Amazon, getting some sales. So yeah, that's an interesting tool. We and Let's have a look at the keyword tracker. So we're going through this quite quickly, but I'm doing that on purpose because people say they prefer snappy videos. They don't want to hang around. You're here for the information. I'm going to give you the information. So for the keyword tracker, you will need to download a Chrome extension, which you get, but the Chrome extension basically will allow you to add, so if we go back, you can add a product in here and track particular keywords. So again, I've gone for the same example. If I go add product and they've taken it away. So let's take it again. Select your marketplace. You can track every hour if you want, three hours next. And then you add your keywords that you want to be tracked for. So maybe you've reverse ASIN'd a competitor and you want to track your, track your product for that. Maybe you've created your master keyword list and you want to see how you're doing for those keywords. So for ease, let's just track ourselves for these, add them in and it gets to work. So it will tell you where that particular ASIN is performing for those particular keywords. And this is really useful for you to be able to keep an eye on your own products, maybe you against your competition. So you could add in your competitors ASINs here. And yeah, it's a good strategy because if your sales drop off, well, you can instantly tell why that is. And yeah, there's always a reason for things on Amazon. So yeah, straight away, this example, we're being told you're, they're indexed, they're even running sponsored ads for these two keywords. And they'll tell you where, where they are, how many competitors there are in, against that keyword. So it's, it's really, really interesting. Okay. Now, what I will say, if you do want to use Amscout, I'll leave a link for a free trial in the description. If you think you want to give the pay tool a go, uh, we can actually offer you a bonus, which is this. It's a checklist of questions that you can ask your supplier. So after this video, if you sign up to this tool, I think you're going to be able to find a product idea. When you've done that, it's pretty important that you ask your supplier very specific questions to make sure that you're not going to waste a load of money and you're getting the very best deal. So... This is a checklist we've put together with Amscan. And yeah, it's just a bonus. So if you want to sign up to the paid tool, use our affiliate link. You can go to this page, which I'll leave a link to this in the description below. And you can get this bonus. Okay. Now, if you do use any of the links that we've left for Amscout Pro or Amscout, we will earn a commission. So we always mention that sort of thing on the channel. It, you know, if you want to use the tool anyway, you like our stuff use it. It supports us as a creator. But if not, you know, you don't have to use them. Obviously, you can just take the free value and 
go on about your day. No problems at all. So yeah, I wanted to let you know about that offer. So if you do want to sign up, you can get that checklist, which yeah, um, we have honed after many years of selling things on Amazon. And yeah, I'll also leave a link to a bundle where you can save hundreds of dollars, nearly a thousand dollars on an Amscout bundle, which is quite exciting. Yeah, if you if you really are interested in this software and you want to sign up for the year and you've got the budget, you can use that to save a load of money. But anyway, that's up to you. You don't have to do any of that, but I wanted to mention it. Now, the last area we'll talk about is the education section. So there's three main areas. You've got a step-by-step course. You've got master classes, which are put on uh, as additional bonuses, and a university where you can just learn things in more detail. So what I would say, if you are signing up to a tool, is you want a tool that gives you some sort of training with it. I've been through a fair few of these videos, and they really aren't too bad at all. Um, and Scout are a pretty big company. They have a lot of expertise in this field. They speak to a lot of experts. They deal with a lot of Amazon sellers. So they're, they're obviously going to have a lot of experience and be able to put together great content. So this is an interesting area. I think if you were going to give this tool a go, I would recommend going through all of this training to make sure you're actually giving it a proper go. It's not one of those things you just sign up to give it a go for a week and then get distracted by something else. I'll tell you one thing I've learned as an Amazon seller is focus and determination is what you need. You need to pick a goal, one goal, focus on it and go for it. Don't get distracted by the next objective by, oh, maybe I should be doing this. Maybe I should suddenly build a Shopify store. No, get Amazon right first. If that's what you want to do, build an Amazon business, focus on that, focus on your Amazon sales. When you're at a point, maybe you're at 100,000 a month, Start looking at things like Shopify. That's what I would say, but you do you. They've got loads of interesting things, how to get reviews. I know lots of you will be interested in that. How you can start with maybe 3,000, how to form your LLC, or maybe if you're from the UK, a limited company. So yeah, lots of interesting things. Maybe you even got something here if you're starting from on Amazon.com, but from outside the USA. Uh, we've also got another video on that, but there's loads of interesting stuff. So guys, I think I've gone on long enough, but I just wanted to cover this tool in a bit more detail. If you like the look of it, use the links in the description to save yourself some money. But yeah, guys, I think that's enough from me. So if you've got any questions, jump in the comments section below and I'll see if I can help as many of you out as possible. And keep an eye out, keep an ear out for more useful videos just like this. And you're going to have to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell if you want to be one of the first to know about our videos, which we drop every single week. Guys, thanks for watching and there'll be more useful content coming from us very soon.